Kansas, alleged Kansas, Kansas shooter Glenn Miller was reportedly once caught paying a black man for sex who he believed supposedly was a woman. The man known to our audience as Glenn Miller, who has gone by the name Fraser Glenn Miller, Fraser uh, Glenn Cross. He's currently under arrest and accused of the three killings at two Jewish community centers in Kansas City. As we know, Lewis, uh, non whites or mud people, as he called them uh, in his, uh, I think it was his uh, Missouri Senate ad back in 2010, are a big problem, according to his worldview. Jewish people and gay people, of course, are a really big problem uh, as well. And we've now learned in what is both incredibly sad and hilarious that Glenn Miller was arrested after police officers once spotted him having sex with a prostitute in the back seat of a car in Raleigh, North Carolina, according to a report. However, it is interesting that the prostitute was black since Glenn Miller is, of course, anti black. It's even further interesting to note that while the black prostitute was dressed like a woman at the time, it was actually a black man that Glenn Miller was attempting to pay for sex. This was, like I said, in North Carolina in the 1980s, according to WTVD. Former federal prosecutor Doug McCullough told a local ABC affiliate that he was investigating Cross for uh, about 30 years ago for allegations that he was plotting to assassinate the leader of a group known for exposing white supremacist organizations. And during that probe, Doug McCullough encountered Cross being arrested for having sex with a male prostitute that I guess presumably maybe he thought he was a woman or maybe not. What a sad life, Lewis. And it is, of course, tragic that this led to the killing of innocent people. But the absurdity of a guy who was anti gay and anti black being caught trying to pay a black man for sex. I mean, it is just so incredible. I don't think you're going to find many people uh, with views like his who are sound of mind and who are just uh, what, what we would call sane. Uh, I mean, it seems like so many times we read stories like this coming to us from people who are just extremely bigoted, uh, xenophobic, homophobic, uh, but they always end up in these situations. They do. And it is always incredible. This is viewer supported independent media. Please support our program by going to davidpackmancom slash membership and becoming.